over the years, God has used my kids to teach me a lot of things. Most parents know that they learn from their kids. For me, I'm also looking for divine insight and understanding along the way. Sometimes it's me trying to teach my kids something and then it forces me to do some self-reflection. That's been something that's been happening recently. Often you can hear a conversation that goes something like this in our household. Child, please don't slam the door. I wasn't trying to. Yes, I understand that. You weren't trying to slam the door, but you also weren't trying not to slam the door. Our bad actions don't always have to be intentional. Sometimes we have to come at it from the other side. Sometimes I think God is saying to us, please stop doing that. And we readily reply, I wasn't trying to. God says, I get that. But you also weren't trying not to. Maybe it's being closed-minded. Maybe it's being prideful. Maybe it's uh, being vengeful. Maybe it's being lustful. It could be any of the sins, right? Any of the things that we get wrong in this world. But it's not just about what we do intentionally, but the things that we aren't mindful about, that we do carelessly, that still cause harm. Slamming doors can be fairly innocuous, but hopefully it helps us look a little bit, do some self-reflection that helps us say, not just what am I not doing intentionally, but what am I not trying to not do? It's a lot of knots thrown in there. I'm sure there's a grammar lesson to be had for a different day, but how do we intentionally choose out of bad action? How do we become self-aware so that we can gently close the door or compassionately look at the stranger or respond with patience when we've been harmed? How do we look for where God might be teaching us and leading us, not just responding reflectively, reactively, but with self-awareness and self-understanding. Take care, friends.